All right, everyone, it is Friday, which means another furry friend visited our studios looking for a forever home. That's right, new at 4 WAT, 6 Near Side Meteorologist Justin Kiefer meets Spaghetti, your Young Williams Animal Center pet of the week. Well, it is Friday, and it's time to talk pets, which is a great time for me. Thanks uh, to Janet Testament for joining us from the Young Williams Animal Center. Thank, Thank you very you much. We have uh, what appears to be a very special little puppy here today. He really is. This is Spaghetti. <laughs> and it's a great name. Uh, he's a hound mix, two months old, and actually has um, a litter mate, also named Bagel. Bagel and spaghetti. Yes. Now, do they do they need to go as a uh, as a as a team, or would it be preferable if they were? They went? don't, but yeah. it would be. They really do love each other, but they're they're only two months old, and so. Yeah. Um, but he is special and <laughs> just looking for a forever home. Hey, spaghetti. What a great, great pup. So, so, so spaghetti is, is small, but will likely get a little bit bigger. Yeah. But uh, lots of people can't have a large animal. Perhaps they have a smaller place to live. Sure. Uh, but you, you provide a service in regard to perhaps being able to adopt smaller animals, maybe not even pets or, or, or cats or dogs, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We, people, uh, a lot of people just think that we have cats and dogs, but the truth is we get everything. And so we get bunnies and guinea pigs, hamsters, reptiles from time to time. And so oh, wow. our bunnies are, um, usually we usually have them available for adoption at AgriFeed, but we also have them at our Vision Street location as well when we have them. And so those types of pets get the same sort of health checkup and everything's fine before Absolutely. they... Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, yeah, it's variety. In, in getting ready uh, for our visit today, I noticed that that Sunday, I think, is National Bunny Day. It is. is that what, is that right? Yes, and bunnies can be great first pets. <laughs> they really are. They can be litter box trained and um, teach responsibility to young children. That's and, great. Yeah, it really is. So there are options. And you could probably grow into perhaps a, a you know a menagerie of pets, if you will, you, starting from you, the bunny. Absolutely. Well, that's great. Absolutely, yes. So pets like uh, spaghetti and bagel you know, or, or if it's a bunny or something else like that you, what do you what do you tell a family or parents who might be interested in maybe purchasing something at retail how would you advise them or, or, or perhaps suggest they come to see you first well I mean we say adopt don't shop and you know we take in nearly 10,000 animals a year um, that are homeless and stray and really we just really want to find these animals deserve a second chance. Oh, that's great. And so we really, and a lot of people, there's a misnomer that we don't get full breed animals if people are looking for full breeds. And that simply isn't true. Wow. We get full breeds all the time. And so it's really a matter of just watching our website and, and coming to pay, visit. Adopt, don't shop. It's great. Absolutely, a great yes. advice. All right, more information, go to their website. That's young-williams.org. You see the phone number there at 865 215 6599 you can find more information on our website as well janet and spaghetti thanks for joining us thank today thank you so much have a great day thanks